Here at the International Business Times, we've been hearing a lot of reports about iPhone 6's bending. So we thought we'd get in the world's most famous spoon bender and mystifier, Uri Geller, to test out the bendability of some smartphones. Uri, how about this BlackBerry? Okay, you know, Anthony, before I test the telephones, let me show you uh, what kind of made me well known around the world. It was a spoon, as you know. And it happened on a British show called The David Dimbleby Show. I, I held a spoon and I started going like this. I said, bend, melt. Yes, it's the beginning. Anthony, hold, hold the ball of the spoon. I'll continue, bend, melt, bend. Yes, it's the beginning. You see, the spoon is becoming soft, like plasticine. And if I shake it, it's going to go. There. So I've seen you do it with a spoon plenty of times on television, but what I want to know is can you do it with a phone? Okay. I'll try to bend it without touching, obviously. Bend. 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 No. Is it not yet? Okay, come on. One, two, three. Bend. It's not working. So, Uri, this is your last chance. It looks like you've lost your touch. Everyone says the iPhone 6 can bend. Let's see what you can do. Better. Bend. Bend. No, look. It's beginning. It's going. It's going. It's going. Wow. Apple, I can solve your problem. Give me a call.